everyone! Today's video is my 15 week pregnancy update. It's 15 weeks. Is it 15 weeks? Oh my gosh, pregnancy break. <laughs> different as you might notice I have a horrendous horrible nasty cold and it's been almost a week now and I have the worst luck in the world the whole family has the worst luck in the world because we got over that horrible flu and now we got this horrible horrible cold I hear noise it's my kids Griffin Sawyer they're playing on their little jump ruse so this video because of my symptoms and stuff I will do what I can and like like what I think of pregnancy symptoms and I'm gonna talk about my fears with this pregnancy and what I'm gonna do to hopefully um, not be so afraid and what I'm gonna talk to my doctor about symptoms this week again it's been really hard I've been not so hungry I have been extremely tired like normal <laughs> had pregnancy brain like crazy like totally forgetful put the peanut butter in the fridge kind of forgetful like where's the peanut butter in the refrigerator I'm like mm, where does it really belong the pantry I feel like I'm showing more clothes are getting really tight I'm peeing a lot all the time I know I'm drinking a lot of fluids because of this cold but uh, I'm drinking a ton of liquids and I'm peeing <laughs> like I feel like every 30 minutes and it's annoying as heck so yesterday I decided to do the Doppler again because it's been a little while and I was getting nervous I don't know why, but I do. And it was really cool. I put the little gel on the Doppler and bam out, found the heartbeat within two seconds. So that was really a nice relief. It made me feel so much more comfort because I am, you know, you just never know. And I feel very blessed to have my children. And um, I just, I, I always worry until they're actually here, even when they are here for that first year. So again, that's pretty much it for my symptoms this week because I have a cold and it's masking it. And, this, and I like, I can't, give you anything else because there's like nothing else. So I did want to talk about my fear with this pregnancy and um, make a lot of noise over there, Griffin. I was talking about this with my mom and we were talking about it, about preeclampsia. And you know, if you have watched my birth vlog and my birth story, you'll know about what happened. So I'll definitely link those videos down below. But I'll just a little quick synopsis, you know, it was twin pregnancy, I had 39 weeks, it was not diagnosed preeclampsia, and I had all the symptoms other than the high blood pressure and the protein in my urine. And it was really hard because I was really, really sick. I almost died. Um, all my organs were failing. I was in the hospital for a week, and I had to get a blood transfusion, and it was just not diagnosed. And I didn't know what the heck was going on. I never had preeclampsia before. And I thought my doctor knew what the heck they were doing. And I'm just scared because, one, having preeclampsia, like, now I know that the pain I was in was mainly because of preeclampsia, not because of the twin pregnancy. Yes, of course, the weight of twins, horrible. Um, if he goes in the summertime, but, like, my hand pain was so bad. The bloating was so bad. I was like, I was so cute. I didn't even look like myself. Everything was so swollen. I, I had shoes that I had to buy specially because I could not wear any other shoes. And they barely fit. Like, they were the velcro ones that you could, like, you could, like, extend. Ribbon. Sorry about all the noise. <laughs> and I was just, like, talking to my mom about it. And I was like, I'm really scared. I feel like it could be in my head. But I feel like I've already shown, shown some signs. A bit. Like, I felt like I'm carrying water a little bit more. I started seeing a couple, like, shiny stuff in my eyes a little bit. Like, that was one of my big symptoms with preeclampsia was I would see a ton of spots in my eyes. Like, I would see all over. I have one of the big red flags for preeclampsia. And my hands, like, the carpal tunnel hands, like, swollen so much. Well, they hurt so much. They were numb. I swear to God. I swear. They didn't, I could not feel my fingers. All of them. It was the most painful experience other than what happened delivering that I'd ever experienced. This pregnancy, I know it's one, I know it's different, and I did talk to my doctor last time, she was saying that, especially what happened with the hemorrhage, that you know, my, stuff, my uterus was so stretched out, but that usually happens, but all the stuff after, you know, my kidneys failing, liver failing, like all that stuff happening, that was not normal. And she said it was very, very rare that she's ever seen, and that I was not diagnosed, you know, sooner. But she was saying that she worked in New York City, and she would see a case like that maybe, maybe once a year. And the fact that it happened to me and that I'm still here is amazing. So again, like, it's, yeah, like, I, again, I'm going to say, well, I don't even know, I didn't say this at all, but like, I was going to die. I felt like I was going to die. I was praying to God 
after I delivered those babies to save me. The pain was so horrible. I, um... It was so scary. And I remember thinking, am I ever going to see my babies? Am I ever going to hold them? Am I ever going to see Harrison or Wynn or my husband or my parents? And I... I can't even tell you how horrible that was. I've never been that close to death, and I really think I was. I couldn't even speak. I would just scream. And I know we didn't film any of that because <laughs> we couldn't film any of that. It was just so bad. Sorry, let me dry my eyes. <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm here. I know. But again, part of my fears is that experience. I don't want to be the woman that's overly scared and goes to my doctor and then well, gets induced at 36 weeks. I don't want to be that woman either because I do believe in natural, natural. I do believe in all of that. I do believe your body is normally to go into this half of the other two. But I don't, I don't want to be induced. I will not be induced. I don't believe in inducement. But I mean, I know this time, like my plan is like, I did research. I talked to my doctor about it. Baby aspirin regimen. I it every day now. And I'm going to be super careful. I'm going to, you know, notice if my feet start swelling crazy or if my hands start hurting or if I start seeing spots in my eyes, um, or if I start looking like a monster <laughs> swelling so much because it was, it was horrible. But though that's what I'm doing to be positive and about to be proactive and to not let this happen again. But I'm not going to be that woman that just says, you know, induce me because I'm scared. I'm the vessel and my baby needs to be in there as long as they need to be in there and if they need to be in there 32 32 weeks to or whatever to 42 weeks that's what they need to be until they're healthy to come out I believe in that again if my doctor would have said you know this 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 was gonna happen I would have had a c-section most likely and hopefully would have prevented that because I'm gonna say this if you hopefully you watch my birth story I couldn't hold my babies almost 24 hours like it was the night and then I think they brought them in the next morning but I they'd give it to me but I had to give them right back because I could the hand pain aftermath <sighs> unbelievable like I don't want to tell you the pain I'm trying to stay positive about it I am trying to stay level-headed about everything and trying to stay proactive take my medicine every day and eat well and be aware of my symptoms and to project to my doctor that I think that there's a problem if there is a problem I'm hoping that there isn't I definitely don't want to go through that again ever <laughs> okay enough with all that let's do the belly shot at 15 weeks all right here's the belly shot at 15 weeks from the front Woo. here it is from the side Belly, 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 baby. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that button next to the subscribe button. You'll get notifications of our videos three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And sometimes bonus videos too. Thanks guys for watching. Bye!